As per reports from several sources, the royal family is not a fan of the hit Netflix show The Crown, at least not of the upcoming season. The show's fifth season, which is presently filming and is going to be looking at the House of Windsor during the 1990s, is apparently ruffling some feathers amongst the Queen's family. Here's what we know about that and some other news about The Crown. First up, the royal family is not happy. Tina Brown, who authored The Palace Papers and said to the AV Club that the royals are not pleased about this season moving ahead, the upcoming set of episodes will definitely focus on Queen Elizabeth's Annus Horribilis, aka Horrible Year, which was 1992, and Charles and Diana's very publicized separation and divorce. Plus, Netflix casting calls posted online revealed that they are in the process of casting the teenage Prince William, Prince Harry, and Kate Middleton to be played in the sixth and last season. We are definitely excited to watch that. Whenever they get the chance, they, meaning the royal family, prevent the crown from shooting in locations where they have any power, Brown says. For example, example, Eaton didn't give them permission to film, which definitely had something to do with Prince William's feelings, who isn't exactly a fan of the show. So, they've shown their unhappiness at the whole thing by making it quite clear that they are not pleased and don't stand behind the show. Things get even tougher concerning Meghan and Harry. Brown warns us that if they both want to be consistent, they really shouldn't be involved with Netflix, but it's kinda late for that. As per reports by the New York Times, in February, Harry and Meghan signed off on a multi-year deal with Netflix, which will pay them to create not only documentaries, documentaries, but also docu-series, feature films, scripted shows, and children's programming. The price for all of this is probably somewhere around $100 million, and who needs consistency when you have that much cash? Brown believes that the next season of The Crown is not going to be something that Harry is going to appreciate, especially considering the way his mother. We don't know how it will depict her, but as of yet, there isn't anything that comes out about their mother that they approve of. Brown herself also isn't the biggest fan of the Princess Diana biopics. She referred to Spencer as terrible, foolish, and silly. In her opinion, the rendition of the family was just not true. Brown even argued that Prince Charles has a great sense of humor and is smart. We don't really know about that, so we'll just have to take her word for it. So, what about season 5? The Crown is one of the most watched shows with a loyal fan following on Netflix, so it's no surprise that as soon as fans binge watched all 10 episodes of a season, for towards the end of 2022, they were left immediately wanting to know what happens next. Here's some good news. Production for the next season commenced some time ago, and the excitement is already building up. As well as fast-forwarding to a brand new chapter in the royal family's happenings, as we mentioned before too, the new episodes will feature a brand new cast. While we excitedly wait for the royal drama's comeback to our screens, there is some news that we have concerning the next season. As of now, there's no real release date for season 5, and given season 4 only dropped towards the very end of 2020, it's likely fans will be waiting a while still. However, according to reports by Deadline, filming and production for the show started in June, with the hope that the episodes would hit Netflix sometime in 2022. With filming underway, Netflix has even put out a number of photos in the past few weeks to give fans a sneak peek of what's to come. First, we got a picture of Imelda, looking every inch the royal monarch that she is. Then we got some snaps of Dominic and Elizabeth as Prince Charles and Princess Diana, making fans all the more excited for the new episodes. Johnny Lee Miller is also entering the cast. He will be playing Prime Minister John Major. According to reports, Claudia Harrison will play Princess Anne, even though that last one is still yet to be confirmed by Netflix. Now for some new faces. A totally new cast will star in the final seasons of The Crown. Imelda Stoughton will play the final Queen Elizabeth. We have Leslie Manville as Princess Margaret after Helena Bonham Carter. Jonathan Price will be taking on the role of Prince Philip, replacing Tobias Menzies. Dominic West will replace Josh O'Connor as Prince Charles, whereas West's actual son, Senna West, will play a young Prince William. Olivia Williams will play Camilla Parker Bowles. Unfortunately, Emma Corrin only got to take on the role of Princess Diana for one season, but it definitely seems as though the part is in good hands with the night manager and the Great Gatsby star Elizabeth Debicki, who also bears an uncanny resemblance to the deceased princess. Next, in other news, we have what members of the royal family think. Everything else aside, our question now is, have the subjects of the series, aka Queen Elizabeth and her family, ever actually bothered watching the show? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle recently revealed their feelings about the show, but there are some more members of the firm who have tuned in. Here's what they all have to say about it. Though she's never publicly talked about the crown, in 2017, the Sunday Express reported that Queen Elizabeth watched the entirety of the first season. Her dedication was because of her youngest son, Prince Edward, and his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex. They especially planned out Saturday night viewings for Her Majesty. Edward and Sophie really liked the crown, a senior royal source reported. Surprisingly, it has been a long-term arrangement for them that they drive to Windsor on weekends to join the Queen for an informal supper while watching something together. They have a Netflix account and convinced her to watch it with them. To everyone's surprise, she really liked it, although obviously there were some depictions of events that she found too much dramatized. But 
nonetheless, she enjoyed it. However, with the seasons that came after the first one, her thoughts on the show became progressively worse. When it came to season two, she did not appreciate how Prince Philip, who was at the time played by Matt Smith, was depicted as cold towards a young Prince Charles, who was not feeling good at his boarding school. And now for the Queen's opinion. The Queen understands that many who view the crown take it as a realistic and true portrayal of the royal family, and she can't change that, a senior courtier said. But she was upset by the way Prince Philip is portrayed as being a father who is insensitive to his son's well-being. She was especially annoyed at a scene in which Philip shows zero sympathy for an obviously upset Charles while he is flying him home. That is not how things actually went down. Also, in September of 2019, the Queen's communications secretary, Donald McCabe, sent a serious statement to The Guardian mere months before the season 3 premiere about the household's view of the exaggerated events depicted in the show. In the letter, it basically said that they wanted it to be made explicit that the show is entirely independent of the royal family and is not taken as a realistic depiction of events by them and was never meant to be one either. But they do understand that as a form of entertainment, people will watch and enjoy the series. The letter also said that the royal household never agreed to approve content or associate with the show in any way. Well, that's uncomfortable. But maybe she appreciated Coleman's inaugural season. If we're to believe the palace insiders who identified themselves as close confidants of Charles speaking to the Daily Mail, the Crown's portrayal of Diana and Charles' relationship did not impress them too much. In defense of showrunner Peter Morgan, he has never made any such claims that everything happening in the Crown should be taken as historical fact. Since its premiere in 2016, he's admitted to taking plenty of creative license and fabricating moments in the series that are inspired by real events. We are creating a work of fiction, albeit based in some reality, but ultimately there's only so much research you can do, says Josh O'Connor, who plays Prince Charles when talking to Town & Country. After a time, you just got to crack on and create something for yourself. Zara, one of the Queen's granddaughters and Princess Anne's daughter, reportedly watches the series with her husband, Mike Tyndall. She described the portrayal of the Queen as brilliant. Mike also is a fan. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Make sure to click the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. We'll see you next time.